constant breakdown of ferries at the Mombasa port has come under sharp focus even as locals seek safer alternative transport means. After months of relative smooth operations across the channel, things hit another snag when one of the ferries, MBIL, broke down after its fuel pipe burst midstream. Before that, she had broken down twice in the last two weeks. This state of affairs triggered public protest from locals who depend on the vessel for their daily commute. Despite the public outrage, the vessel remains idle alongside MV Jambo, that had been in operation for a few months but stopped after a clutch problem. Also pulled aside and resting is MV Qual. Made in Turkey and worth SHSH 1.05 billion, MV Jambo was the newest ferry at the port, until it suffered a mechanical problem. Further compounding the problem is the stoppage of the sole ferry at Mtong, which helps ease the pressure at Lee Kone. The Mtong ferry had been launched with much fanfare by President Kenyatta early last year, but now there is little to write home about. With things now falling apart, the Kenya Ferry Services officials are smelling sabotage. In the last few weeks, they have been holding individual staff to account as they try to dig the root cause of the problem. It is now the procedure that anybody who allows the ferries to ground must be investigated and be possibly disciplined, Managing Director Bakari Gawa said. Gawa said two ferry staff a coxswain and an operation officer were removed from the channel pending investigations into why MV Ligoni stalled on the ramp a week ago causing a commotion at the channel. He insisted that to drive accountability, any staff who allows ferries to ground on the ramps or cause any other operational hitches must be held accountable. Two years ago, three top managers including Ambi Hassan Musa Hassan were sacked following a visit on the channel by President Kenyatta.